Georgia Tech is one of the top 10 engineering schools in the US and most of the students coming here struggle to get accepted. So in this video, we will be sharing how she struggled in getting accepted to Georgia Tech and she actually got rejected twice and got accepted on her third attempt. So let's get started. First of all, we both actually applied as high school students after completing a high school and we we had good gpa she had 3.98 gpa and i had 4.0 gpa i got rejected as an international student and i did my undergrad actually my high school in india and then i was coming for undergrad here and i didn't get accepted to georgia tech but to georgia state university tell us about your experience how you got rejected in the first attempt yes so in the first attempt, I got rejected, and I know exactly why I got rejected. I did not try hard for my SATs. I was taking, inter I was doing the International Baccalaureate program, mm -hmm. and I was also playing lacrosse. So uh, I, that consumed most of my time. So my SATs weren't great, and I got rejected from Georgia Tech uh, the first time. And it's funny, but I applied to Georgia State the last second because I thought that they said the application was due on this date instead of by this date. Wow. But I got accepted because even though I applied on the last day. Wow, that's amazing. I got lucky because my parents would have been freaking out if I didn't get accepted to any university. But yeah, I applied to Georgia State almost the last day or the day before the last day and I got accepted and that's how we met we both did we take a class together no. not really not really <laughs> okay I'm not sure how we met I guess we met in the math department really yeah you, you, you were a came, tutor yeah I was a tutor you forgot yeah okay <laughs> okay because, uh, Georgia State has this place called the math the Mac the math assistant complex so that's um, where we went that's where we met. Uh, so in terms of Georgia Tech, as I said, I got rejected, but I wanted to go to Tech because Georgia Tech has one of the best CS programs. But also, I didn't feel like rigor in the GSU uh, computer science program. And that's one of the main reasons, because I wanted rigor. And sometimes I feel like that was missing in my um, experience at Georgia State, be just because it's like, Sometimes people are self-motivated. It doesn't matter what school you go to. If you're self-motivated, I think that's really good. I think you will get places. And I'm one of those people that likes things a little bit, like a push from the university or whatever. I'm not saying like not self-motivated at all, but sometimes you want that push or that rigor that makes you work. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, in, in the back of my head, Georgia Tech was going to give me that. And that's one of the main reasons I decided I want to go to Georgia Tech. And there is this uh, chart online where it shows all the classes you need to take. So I took three calculus, Calc 1, 2, 3, 2 English, all core classes. Every core class I could take that transfers to Georgia Tech, I took it. I had about 66 credits before I transferred to Georgia Tech. On their profile also, most of the students who transfer to Georgia Tech have on an average 60 to 80 credits. I saw that as well. Yeah, so I had 66 credits. I think about maybe more than 66, a little bit more, maybe 68. But even though they transferred, sometimes that class does not fit in the curriculum. So there were two or three classes that were like extra classes. They got transferred, but they don't count as any specific class at Georgia Tech. And sometimes you have to work with that as well. It's like, does this class transfer to the degree that you're working towards? And Georgia Tech has these threads. So I, uh, my threads are in intelligence and info networks. Nice. Yeah, but they have six or seven threads. It's uh, people, media, intelligence, info network, sysarc, and yeah. So the second rejection experience was when you applied for the transfer application in summer. You got waitlisted and you got eventually rejected for the second time. Yeah, right? so the second time I applied, I wanted to take summer classes just to stay ahead. Sometimes when you transfer schools, it doesn't exactly transfer or it doesn't exactly work out how you want it to be. So I decided like if I get into tech in the summer, I could take a summer class at tech and it counts towards my degree. So I applied for summer and I got waitlisted but 
on the last day the wait listed got released like there's a date like if you got accepted through the waitlist process or not and i did not get accepted to the waitlist process but the same day was the last day for fall applications and i did not change a single word in my application i literally paid the admission uh, re- admin admission fee or the fee for the application which was like $80 mm-hmm. yeah so i paid that fee up like not a single word nothing i didn't change anything so i just sub- uh, submitted the same application then i got it the wow. third time or the third attempt i got into georgia tech wow so this shows that the competition must be higher in summer that they rejected your application right or, or what was the reason the, uh, according to the thing they have sent me it's there is limited availability in the summer because oh. people that are already at georgia tech are also taking summer classes and they allow people from other universities to also take as a transient student mm-hmm. to take summer classes at Georgia Tech so if they don't have a spot for you in the summer please try for fall yeah i think fall should be the best semester fall should be the best semester and i already planned ahead i was like if my summer attempt does not work i still have fall attempt and i checked the date uh sometimes these applications are like the deadlines are very important like wow. i knew someone at my high school they had a perfect sat score they applied to georgia tech but they didn't submit their sat score on time wow got rejected unbelievable they should have actually caught up on time they should have sent emails that can you please accept my late ssd submission she, she, she. i think it doesn't he must, he must have been lazy or oh, they it, don't okay that person okay. i don't want to say he she anything that person didn't uh, get in just because they didn't send their sat scores on time i think they were only couple days late but mm. still wow yeah so deadlines are very important yeah struggle <laughs> the struggle is real so now do you think it's worth transferring after the struggle you have you gone through um it's all about the connections you make uh it's not about like oh this that or like you know a hype or anything i mm-hmm. think it's all about the connections you make and as i said i wanted rigor and i'm sorry to say but georgia tech is <laughs> rigorous <laughs> there's a lot of rigor like your classes your And then the thing is sometimes uh people at tech sometimes don't seem friendly or something. I think they're just busy. They're just busy <laughs> in classes. When I before I went to tech, I I was kind of like I was trying to reach out to someone at tech and I couldn't find anyone and I'm like, "Oh, who should I reach out to?" kind of. But like I think it's just because they're busy with their classes, busy with like organizations they're part of and a lot of assignments. Every class has a weekly assignment, weekly homework. uh sometimes weekly projects as well wow so it shows how difficult georgia tech's program is and the struggle for me was um i took all my core classes i didn't have a balance sometimes oh. i do have to take four cs classes together ah oh, that's tough yeah. yeah all those difficult classes all one together. time yeah, yeah one time so sometimes your gpa struggles that way that wraps up everything so that's pretty much it for today thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one thank you for en- encouraging me to come on youtube yeah you must welcome thank you goodbye <laughs>